Hey everybody, I just made a video about these two Dell Instrum 1525 computers. The one on the left is my own machine. The one on the right is one that's in for service. And um, I mentioned in that video how the one on the right has a newer BIOS revision, but it runs much hotter than the one on the left. The one on the left actually has a higher end CPU than the one on the right. It's kind of weird, isn't it? But anyways, I'm going to be talking about something else about these two computers in this video. And this really applies to pretty much all laptops. It's something pretty simple. It's something that laptops always have. It's called the battery. And um, I sort of going to educate you on laptop batteries, how to t how to take care of them and everything, and how to replace them. So, anyways, um, we got these two Dell Inspiron 1525s here, and um, the battery in this one is actually doing okay for its age. Um, this is a factory Dell battery. Its design capacity was 41,000 milliwatt hours, so 41 watt hours. It's currently doing about 32 and a half watt hours full charge capacity. But yet it says the current capacity is 41,070. And um, with the stock Dell batteries, it seems like um, the controller and the battery doesn't give good results. It doesn't, it's like, it's like it gives you the wrong information on the display. And I haven't actually tried to test this battery to see how long it lasts, but I'm pretty sure it's not doing pretty good because um, when I got this computer, it was slap dead. Like, for instance, let's say, look at the levels. It tells you the wear level is 20%, the charge level is 126%. Now, how much sense does that make? I mean, the highest you can have is 100%. I mean, really. Now, let's look at my computer, the Inspiron 1525. Well, yeah, it's the same as that one, but there's a difference here. I replaced my battery not long after I got this machine because the battery was not staying charged for a very long amount of time. And it, too, was showing these weird um, readouts on the capacities and levels and that sort of stuff. But the battery would barely last maybe half an hour on a charge. And if you run a CPU at 100% max load under Prime 95, it only lasts you about maybe 10-15 minutes. So anyways, um, the battery on this, on this machine is actually a lot higher capacity than the stock Dell battery. Which Dell does sell a 9-cell um, ba battery. Which, speaking of the battery, this is a 9-cell battery I, I installed. Notice how it sticks out the back of the machine. That's what gives you a higher capacity. If you notice here, this battery has been in service for about 10 months now. Its design capacity is 71,280 milliwatt hours, and it's currently doing 67,640. You notice the current capacity is 25,855. This machine's running on the battery. This one's plugged into the wall. And this battery here lasts a very long time. It will last about four to five hours on a charge, depending on how you use the computer. I've actually been using this computer at, um, at class and um, used it a little bit at home, too. And it still has, like I say, 38% charge level. And notice um, this charge level is actually accurate. It tells you the um, charge level, saying it's 37%. And... Um, when it's fully charged, it reads 100%, not 126%, or some weird number like the other one was. Okay, after my random talk about laptop batteries, you're probably asking me, Nick, what do you do when your battery goes bad in your laptop? Well, here's what you do. You replace it. Well, yeah, that's pretty obvious, but you're probably saying, well, that's going to cost a lot of money, isn't it? Most people think that when laptop batteries go bad, it's going to be in a, it's going to cost my arm and leg to replace them. That is true if you actually re replace your battery with a factory Dell battery or a factory HP battery or just a factory OEM battery from the manufacturer. Yeah, it's going to cost your arm and leg if you do that. And in some cases, if you go to like Batteries Plus or Radio Shack to buy your batteries, yeah, it's going to cost you a lot of money there too. With this computer here. Dell wants probably I think over a hundred bucks or so for a replacement battery for a nine cell battery. That's how much they want. Not cheap. The battery that's in this computer is an aftermarket Anchor laptop mate battery that I paid a whopping thirty dollars for back in December or early January of this year. And I have used this battery 
pretty heavily through college because I have I, I bring this laptop into um, classes all the time and it, it gets a good bit of use lots and lots of charge discharge cycles on the battery already and it's performing very well I mean it's lost a little bit of capacity which is no which that's normal because lithium ion batteries you the life expectancy on these things is about four years that's how much um, you should expect to get out of a lithium ion battery in terms of a good long lasting charge anyway so for already being almost a year old or close to a year old this battery has done pretty well now you're probably asking is there any way I can help condition my battery to make it last longer well yeah there's many ways you can actually help your laptop battery last a lot longer first off don't keep it plugged into the wall all the time the only reason I got mine the only reason I got this one plugged in right now is because I'm doing lots of maintenance on it and I'm not sure how long the battery on this one will last I'm telling you, something I see all the time when I'm at class, I see people with their laptops plugged into the wall. All the time. Every time they unbag their laptop, they plug it into the wall. They don't use their batteries. And the general rule when it comes to laptop batteries, or many other batteries for that matter, either you use it or you lose it. So please, use that battery. Keep the adapter stored up for only when you need it. Let's say if your battery gets low on a charge, then plug it in and let it charge up. And some general facts about lithium ion batteries is they don't always like to be fully charged, discharged all the time. It doesn't hurt to um, plug it back in and let it charge back up after, let's say, it's down about half a charge or so. It doesn't hurt to um, cycle it randomly, unlike nickel cadmium batteries, which um, will build up a memory effect if you charge them like that. Two one is, let's say your battery is not doing so well, and you do want to replace it. And like I say, I recommend going on Amazon.com and getting a battery from there because you can get it for much cheaper than, let's see, um, Radio Shack, Batteries Plus, or actually going to Dell or whoever and getting your battery. So anyways, let's say you have purchased your battery and you're ready to install it. Install and installation of the battery is extremely simple. Now let me go ahead and show you how this works. Let me get the camera set up on a tripod. This it's extremely simple. On the Dallas Brown 1525, there's a single latch. Now make sure you have one to shut down, computers off, and everything before you do this. And make sure it's not plugged into the AC adapter. Push this to the right, it releases your battery, and you just pull it out. I'm going to show you what the battery looks like. This is the 9 cell battery. And that's why it sticks out the back of the computer. The stock 6 cell is actually in line with this right here. And here's a look at that battery. So that way you can see for yourself. It's an anchor. And um, it's a 6.6 .6 amp hour battery. With a 72 watt hour capacity. And... This battery has done me very well. And as like I said, it's a whopping thirty dollars, unlike a hundred something dollars they pay for one of these from Dell. So anyways, um yeah, that's so we're gonna share with you some good information about laptop batteries and how easy it is to replace them. And so when you go to reinstall your new battery, you just slide it in. And in some cases there might be a lever you have to press to lock the battery in. But other than that, that's how simple it is. Anyways, um, that's some good information about laptop batteries I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you find it useful. Anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.